beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Jill Juliet. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm going to be doing a little quick halfway. It's going to be a part one and part two of my vanity collection of my makeup. You know, the collection is still growing because for some reason, we just can't have enough lipsticks and enough reds or nudes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get to it. Alrighty, beauties. So as promised, here is a little tour of my vanity makeup spot and my mess but don't worry about that so this is what we are always faced with now as you guys can see right over here i have all my color pops i have some wet and wild wet and wild some victoria's secret then i have like the red of beauty bakery these are like the clean brushes that i have Literally, the white ones are just beautiful, so I don't kind of want to dirty them. The majority of my brushes are from Morphe Cosmetics, um, which I absolutely love. Then right over here, I have my Fenty Beauty, which this one came out last year. I honestly haven't at all worn it. I just bought it because it was very beautiful, and it has, like, so much shimmery. Then I have my makeup remover, which I absolutely love. This from Clinique. Some of the products, I'm not a big fan, but this is, like, the best thing ever. Then right over here go in then right over here i have like all my beauty basically beauty blenders beauty sponges lipsticks again color pop i have a lot of here of um right over here is the velvet matte from victoria's secret Ooh. i did a video of this a long time ago so yeah more ColourPop, more VS. Then right over here, I have my Milani, which I was absolutely obsessed with them. Um, then right over here, I have my, I have the NYX Gerard's Cosmetics, Ben Eye, another Gerard Cosmetics. Then I have the ColourPop, and this is a color. I have the ColourPop, and this is a rose quartz. This is the. This is basically another body glow. One and only and pink candy. This is a smoothing lip scrub. Then moving on here on top, I have more other lipsticks. From the back, I have literally all Jeffree Star. Love you, Jeffree. Then we have Too Faced. We have more Beauty Bakery. Right over here should be an Ulfa. Ulfra? Ulfra? I can't even pronounce that one. Another one. And then this one should be... This one is actually from... Glamour, Glamour Queens. This one's called OG Royalty. I had a red one, but someone's... Oh, it's right here. This is actually one of my favorite ones. It's called Wicked Throne. Do you guys see that? Another one of Gerard Cosmetics. I had a red one, but for some reason it's gone. Right over here, I have some of Kylie's Jenner lipstick. I really haven't even tried them, to be honest. Then I have a Stila Cosmetic. I have more of... This one's from Lime Crime. Then we have more of the Jeffree Stars. These are basically ones that I don't really use. I just bought them, so I don't know if I want to open them yet. Stila Cosmetic. Then down here would be the Anastasia. I was literally obsessed with Anastasia. I had like eight of these, you guys, and now there's only four left. Sometimes, sometimes, I really do lose my lipsticks, which isn't like the best thing ever. Then we have... The bullet one from Jeffree Star, two max, lime crime, lime crime, lime crime. Then, whoa! Ah! Voila. This is my highlight drawer. So we have Huda Beauty. I have four of her collections. I have Wet n Wild a few of what and while oh man she is an organized then we have the anastasia beverly hills i have maybelline cosmetics more maybelline more maybelline and more maybelline then we have this one from ulta we have a jcat one and maybelline and then i had the ofra that was outside on my vanity okay okay we have Physician Formulas, Morphe, and another Wet n Wild. Then we have Javia's Palettes. We have all four of them. Some of them, unfortunately, are a little bit too dark for me, like this one, but this is really good for body glow. This is actually one of my favorite. And then 
This one right over here, it's a lot more darker. So, you know. Then we have NYX Duo Chrome. We have the liquid drops from Cover FX, if it wants to focus. Then moving on, we have our beautiful Pixie one. We have Jeffree Star. Then we also have this highlighter and contour from Profusion. Then we also have back here some Halo, or actually it's Hollow, Hollow from NYX. Then in here in the crevices, really back there, I have Sonia Cashew. Then we have like Elf. We have this one from LA Girl. And then uh, there's a lot more. Hold on. This one is from Models Own. We have, this is actually one of my favorite ones because Babe got it. It's the Urban Decay Naked Luminizer Primer. Then back here, we have another one. This is from the Re Makeup Revolution. Hi there. Another Models Own. They're kind of old already. We have Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This one was with Manny MUA. Uranus. And then we have... The one and only Wet n Wild Luminous Palette, which is like, this is like my favorite one to go to. Colourpop, we have Laura, Laura Geller, which is, this one's like absolutely beautiful. And then the Honey one is even better. We have Becca, Becca, and then the Anastasia Tarte right over here. And, oh, this is the one I was talking about. This is called the Honey Glide. It's my absolute favorite, 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 favorite. But, you know, you got to save her. She's pretty pricey. Ah! She fell! But she's looking good. She's looking good. Two, this is my bronzing slash cheek palette area. Concealers. Anything that goes on my face, this is it. So we have Models Own Contouring. We have N um, Wet n Wild. This one should be the NYX, NYX. Then we also have the Pro Concealer from LA Girl. In here we have this one, which I don't really even use. It's the Anastasia one. I'm not a big fan. Then I bought this one from Profusion. And then I have my Holy Grail that was for a very, very, very long time. It has a special place in my heart. It is a beach cosmetics. So we have our Too Faced. Then we have, of course, our Cheek Paradise. Like, I absolutely love this. You guys need to... This literally is a lifesaver because it's, like, all in one. And I heard that there's new ones that just came out. So I'm going to see if I can get my hands on them. All right. Now we also have a lot of concealers from Makeup Revolution, Tarte, more Makeup Revolution. We already said that one. We have our NYX. NYX. Why do I keep on calling that? Wet and wild, wet and wild, wet and wild, wet and wild, wet and wild. Then we have our bronzing from Physician Formula, which we are completely out. And there's a new one that came out, which I need to get my hands on. We have these are from Click It's from Cover FX, ColourPop, Pixie. Then we have Elf, Elf, Elf. And then last but not least, these are like some really, um, this is a brand that I actually first started. It's one of the most economic brands I've tried and very pigmented. This is one of my favorite ones. This one's from City Color. Moving on to the next one. Oh, what a mess. I swear to you guys, I fix this every day on a daily basis. Uh, as you can see, these are literally all color pop eyeshadows that are like hella everywhere. Then right over here, we have a lot of eyeliners just... A lot of pencil liners then here we have a lot of our liquid eyeliners more color pop hi then we have our Mac these are like small pigments then there is like some just random eyeshadows so last but not least is my eyelashes drawers favorite 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 kiss blowout we have these random lashes. We have Eiler, Veiler, The Complicated Life. This is from House of Lashes. They have little pairs of lashes in there. 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the end of the video and follow along as we are up to this journey. I'll see you guys in part two. Okay. This is what used to be the 3D liquid lusters from Lorax. Like these are like super old, like really old. Like that was like the first highlighter I've ever bought. And that's like literally what I just put on top of my highlighter. And it's like, wow, wow. And I just noticed something. I put my eyelashes the wrong way. Literally, this is supposed to be outside and then this is supposed to be inside. Did you guys notice? It's okay. We're still taking pictures. And then literally, you guys, I am still not recovered from Clinique 7 Day Trial. Like, it kind of hurts when I open my mouth or when I eat. Like, this is literally the biggest I can open my mouth. Because if I do open a little bit wider, I could feel my skin, like, breaking from it being recovered. So, um, that's that. I feel like you can still see in the camera, like, just right over here. But anyways, um, I'm going to be doing my roots today. So we're hopefully no longer going to have like this massive orange roots. And we're going to have all yellow hair. 